we're back. And like I said, we gotta get these brake lines set. But let's just admire how these look in day. Oh man. Alright, so what I've gone ahead and done is I just went ahead and took out my intake <coughs> and my battery uh, just to get access to here. I put WD-40 on them last night on all these. So it's one, two over here on the proportional valve. He's gonna be a bitch, I already know. And then these uh six. Yeah, two in the back, four in the front. I tried different things. I tried a socket, I tried an open end. My last resort was a blowtorch. Uh, but I just got ahead and got these vice grips and this one, this one budged. So uh, I think I'm gonna continue that same process to the rest of it. Let's hope I don't strip any bolts. Ya estuvo, compa. We done right here. Got all the brake lines off. So now I'm gonna take off these two 10 mil, pop that sucker off and literally <laughs> mount this one. Fuck that. Boom. All right, so I was kind of just curious to see what the real difference is. I know what the real difference is. So if you were to open this up, there's just a bunch of channels and it directs it proportionally. I wonder why it's called the proportion valve. So after just inspecting it, I see a 17 here, R, R. I see a 48 here, or 49. I see R, I see a Z stamp, okay. I mean, width-wise, they look the same, but like I said, it's not really what the outside, it's the, what the inside matters. Oh, it's such a democratic thing to say, Cal. It took about five minutes, and that's exactly what I expected for most of the things to take. You know, maybe like one hiccup, like sees brake nines, not like 30,000 of them, like a broken bearing or missing the wrong studs. That ended up taking a couple days, so I'm glad this took a couple minutes and got this proportion valve on, and now we need the last thing. That's I'm gonna take off these or try to fucking. I have no idea how I'm gonna take those off actually. Let's see. I can take off that one, but the back one's gonna be pretty hard. Alright, so I have some. No, I have room back there, maybe. I think I have room in there to throw in a, some vice scripts. I always want to get the best leverage of this shit because you probably only have like one shot before stripping it completely. Okay, 12 mil bolts right there. And I'm just gonna slightly tap it. Oh yeah, there's a pretty good seal in there. So I think I'm gonna have to pry it open. Right All right, I'm back over here now. So I'm gonna just check uh, exactly what that diameter is just to know how much I need to shave down. So on the Integra, Roughly, roughly 40 millimeters. And then the CRX one, that's a shit ton, bro. That's almost five millimeters. So I need to shave down about five mil. If I had a fucking lathe or a mil, it'd be done, but I don't, so. Grinder it is. Point three nine inches. I don't like using that. I'm gonna go millimeters. All right, we got thirty five millimeters. And 
And on this one, right now, where, let's say where I just cut, it's 39. So I really haven't cut these two portions, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and kinda even out the thing, cause it looks kinda over this right now. So we needed, we need 35, at least 35. We got, fuck, 39. Turning it around, it's obviously been perfect. 39, 39, holy shit. I better get to cutting, boys. <laughs> So after, yeah, it's dark already. So I took off a good amount, guys. Look at all the dust. Yeah, don't breathe this shit in, guys. I, I, I wore a mask after, I promise. So we needed about 35 something. Perfect. Got to put these back in. Just do a little test fit to see if it fits. Boom. And even if there's a gap, them nuts, it's gonna put the motherfucker in, but to be safe and make sure we don't get any leaks. I'm gonna put some RTV gasket. I'm gonna put Marine RTV gasket. Not because it's the only one I have, but because it has properties that will repel any oil and stuff. No, it's actually the only one I have, so I'm gonna put that. Can't find RTV, so we're gonna walk to AutoZone and get some RTV. I think some of the gas started to start coming out, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and untie those. And those screws are... Nowhere to be found. Right there. So there's a washer that goes in first. Alright, the washer in. Yeah, you're probably gonna have trouble too with this uh, throttle body uh, cable. I know they said hand tighten it, but I'm actually gonna tighten it a little bit because I think, yeah, it's still sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other washer on. Yeah, there's no way you're probably gonna be able to see that. Oh, you can maybe. If good old, if good old iPhone will focus. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm just gonna go and let this set for the night of the next hour, night of the next hour, night of the next hour or so. And um, I think we'll be ready to bleed these brakes and go for some test runs. So. All right, so uh, I went ahead already and uh, opened up the uh, bleeder valve and I uh, filled it up with oil from the brake fluid and I'm just kind of pumping it here and watching it. You can look at it here. Kind of. And obviously, it's way easier when somebody's here next to you because you can just be in the car or they could be in the car pumping it and also be checking up on here. Oh, I already fucking messed up my noob spoon. Fucking blanket, no. Yeah, I think we already started spilling some fucking fluid. Let me go ahead and restrict this a little bit more. Just like that. Make sure all the fluids out. I want a continuous squirt on that. That. All right, now that is fucking beautiful. That is beautiful, my friends. Oh, that is so beautiful. That says bleeded. Typically, you want to. Oh shit! I was saying. Typically, you want to use a open end wrench. But oh, why do I keep losing it? I don't have that luxury. Wait. Are you gonna must Ooh, and I just ordered some uh, ground control coilovers. 
I was inside doing some calculations to see what uh what spring brake I want to use. Uh, so uh, I ended up with a 450, which is typical. It's a high travel, but the rear of the car only weighs about like 700 pounds. Uh, most of the weight's in the front, so 700, and then with the 400. So I'm gonna I'm looking at about an inch and an inch and three quarters of travel, which is cool. And then I'm gonna adjust it to get an extra inch, so two and a half. So I should get pretty flush here, and it should fill inside. It should fit inside the wheel well. If it doesn't, I'm gonna roll them. I hope I have to roll them, but I think those tires are on, out on a stick. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and see what I, what else I can do with this stuff. I got some ideas, guys. I got some good ideas. But go ahead and uh, um, bleed these brakes. So same thing. The other one was a bitch to kind of loosen, but I. I loosened this one already, I believe. <sighs> nope, I feel it's stripping, so I'm gonna go get some WD-40. All right, so right now I'm just putting my uh, exhaust back together. And I'm having trouble finding the hole, surprisingly. Uh, I'll get it. Tomorrow. All right, guys, as you can see, I am inside looking all spiffy and looking all nice because it's Christmas Eve and I managed to finish the car. From what happened yesterday, all I needed to really do was change out the wheel studs. So apparently, for some reason, my wheels, I was, I was only getting a couple threads for engagement for the lug nuts. So since I had already bought the Integra studs, I just swapped them off in the hub. Uh, now they're longer and yeah, I was able to put my Ankies on there. Uh, it looked pretty nice. I'll show you guys later, but I just kind of mostly did today was a testing for me and all I did was run it down up and down the street. And since these are, since these are new rims and new old tires, I had to like fill them up and make sure that there was any leaks. I had to patch up one of them and then the other one has a bulge in it. So I already talked to my homeboy. I'm hopefully going to order some Toyos, some 1TRs. Are they called 1TRs? Let me check. Uh, like a 185 and then like the wall thickness. So I want like a 55 or a 60 and then the 14 inch rims. Uh, so I think that's a good size. I had I was running 205 before and they were rubbing. So I know 205 is my absolute max. And since I ordered those ground control coilovers, I think that should be good enough. 185, 195 that ballpark um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching happy holidays to everyone and i hope you guys really enjoyed this break upgrade even though it was really long and like a weekend and stuff so can't wait to put out more content out there and like i said just keep ordering more and more parts and keep installing them on there i also have some fab work that i'm going to do uh with the fenders i'm gonna do a tubular fender brace that's for another day but like i said guys i'm gonna go get some food and i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching and like always stay boosted 8.01 p.m. Ay, mira el locochón. La coni, la coni leches. Mírate, echa tu pedazo de carne. Así es. Ay. Míralo. Echa un pedacito, mírale. He fucking loves the camera, dude. Prime rib, no more prime rib. Was it ostrich? Nigga, stay right there, baby boy. <laughs> baby boy. Woo! How Mexican you get? <laughs> Come here, I'm gonna see you try a little secret. Another, another secret spot. <laughs> Boom! Look at some fucking pozole. <laughs> Who wants some of this? <laughs> Tomorrow for sure. <laughs>
eventually. Fucking literally burning rubber, bro. I don't know, I just woke up from a little nap. It's a little dark, but you guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs>